In this math test, we're going to look at how the simulator works. We're going to understand the simulator so that then when we build it, we know what we're doing. I'm Linda Falberg Stoyanowska. This is our website at math247pbworks.com. And this simulator uses the freeware GeoGebra, which you can download from geogebra.org. So our goal in this math test is to understand the problems that the simulator seeks to solve. So, understanding the problem. Open the simulator. Find the player and the ball. Assume the player and the ball are actually centered at the big purple point called player position, which is the vertex of the angle alpha. The angle alpha shows the margin of error the player has in aiming his ball for a goal. Let's see that. Okay, so here's the interactivity, the simulator. And where's the big purple point? It's right there. Big purple point called player position. And we are to find the soccer player and his ball. And what we're assuming is that this player and his ball are actually right at that point there. So he's getting ready to kick the ball towards the goal. Now, anywhere between the two goal posts, assuming there's no goalkeeper to defend the goal, will make a goal. So he can kick all the way down to the bottom end of this this angle up to all the way at the top end of this angle and still make a goal. So alpha is the angle of success and this angle changes as the player runs along this line parallel to the sideline. Notice there are two sliders, the slider for player and the slider side length from post one. Here are the two sliders. This is the one we set before we start the simulator. That sets the line on which he is running along. A soccer player is running down the field in a straight line parallel to the sideline. So we set this distance in order to tell what line he is running along here. And then the other slider is the slider for the player. And it says bottom equal to 9.9. .9. There's the 9.9 .9 purple there. And now the player is running along, right? And notice that the angle changes. It's actually getting bigger. Way over here, it was 5 degrees. And then as we come closer, 5.6, 5, 6 degrees. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. We shall see if it keeps getting bigger and bigger, though. So first set the green slider to side 1 equal to 2.1. I think we did that side 1 equal to 2.1. We just picked that number. It's not a magic number. Okay, now slide the slider, the purple, slider for player left and right. We did that. And we saw that this moved the player along the horizontal line parallel to the sideline. And that the value of bottom was the distance of the player to the left end line. Let's see. So this distance here is bottom right there. And it is the base of both this triangle to the first goalpost with the side that we fixed and this triangle to the second goalpost. So this, this side here is 2.1 and then this side of the big triangle is 2.1 plus the length of the goalpost which would be, which was set at 1, so that would be 3.1. Okay, so what are we supposed to do next? Move the purple flare for the player to the right. Now slowly slide it to the left so that the player moves along the parallel toward his goal. The angle of success alpha to make a goal changes. We saw that. As the player moves to the left, notice that the angle gets larger. We saw that. Now, this is the key part. Then as he nears the end line, it gets smaller. Let's see that. Okay, so let's go back. We'll slide it back all the way over here. It's eight. So now it's four. So, okay. And we've got them all the way at the end. Four, and as we move them to the left, four, five, four, eight, four, nine, five, five and a half, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, whoop, ten. It's getting smaller. Let's see, does it keep, oh, seven, six. So it gets smaller and smaller now as he gets closer. So the question was, where was it the largest? And we saw 11, so let's get them back before that. 
Now, the easiest way to do this, it's hard to slide sometimes, is click once without moving. See how it's glowing, that point there? Click it once. It's still glowing. Now you can use your arrow keys. And we're going to go to the left, 10. And it's getting bigger still. 10.4, 10.5, 10.6. I think we saw 11, so let's get it up to 11. There's 11.02, 11.04, 11.05, 11.07. Eight, eight, six. Oop, went down. Eight, five is what I. Eight, seven. Eight, seven is the biggest one. So, eleven, zero, eight, seven is the biggest angle we saw. And now we go up here and look, and it says he's two point five five virtual units. You could multiply that by eight meters or eight yards to get a real picture of how far he is away from the goal. Our scale is one to eight with yards or meters. So his maximum angle, multiplying everything by 8 yards, 8 meters, 2.5 would be 20 yards from the end line, and he's running along a parallel that is 2 times 8, 16 yards from the goal post. That's how this works. It's interesting that it gets bigger and then it gets smaller, and we can find the maximum angle. And the maximum angle changes depending on how far away he is. So if we make him farther away from the goal, let's say we make him down here at 3, which would be approximately 24 yards or meters from the goal. And now we have him run. Let's see if we can get a, an estimate. 8, it's getting bigger. And come back down. So it's right in there somewhere. So let's check that. They click it without moving it, so it glows. 8047, that's getting smaller. 806, 808, 809, 811, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, still getting vinegar. There it is, 213. So when he's, he has to be farther away now from the goal to get that optimum angle. It was 255 when he was closer to the goal, and now it's 345 when he's farther away from the goal. Okay, so we saw how the simulator works. In this math cast, we saw how the simulator, Soccer Goal Simulator 1, works. Now we can build it. Here is the link. It's clickable. And we use Geogebra, which you can download from geogebra.org. It's free. This MathCast was produced with Camtasia Studio.